You've asked for it. We're going to deliver. Here is our floor plan. All right, so let's jump into the overview of the entire house. It's a 16 by 50 again, 16 feet by 50 feet. We wanted a two bedroom, two bath. This house is only meant for Jared, but it's one bedroom and bathroom for him and a guest bedroom and bathroom. This is gonna be more of our office area that he'll use it as and Jaylene and I can use it as well. So each bedroom is 12 feet by 10 foot, 12 feet by 10 foot. And then it has an adjoining bathroom, which is six feet by 12 feet. We'll dive into more detail on that in a minute. We wanted a living room and kitchen open concept right in the middle. Our doors are roughly right here in the middle on each side. So you could walk in, go to the kitchen or walk all the way through to the backyard. We're gonna go in more detail on that in a minute. And then on the opposite side, because we think it's a lot better to have a bedroom and bathroom on one side and bedroom and bathroom on the other. So if you know we were to live in the same house, you were separate. If you have a kid, you're separate. It just gives you enough room between each room that it kind of blocks the sound and you won't be able to hear it from back and forth. So another thing that we wanted to show you guys was we also set it up this way for a reason. We wanted all the plumbing to be on the bottom our kitchen sink is right here. Our bathroom, all the stuff is on the outside. And over here is on the outside. You'll see all that in a minute. So all the plumbing just runs in the back. So it's very simple to get in and fix any plumbing along the back. So let's go ahead and dive into this first bedroom right here. And just remember, it's on this side. When you walk in, the bedroom's over here. So bedroom number one, let's go into detail with that right now. Okay, now we're in bedroom number one. Again, remember, it's on the left side of the house from what we just showed you. The living room's over here, kitchen, bedroom, and all that is on that side. So you walk in the front door, and then you come over through the living room and into the bedroom, the first bedroom. The door, we have it swinging into the room, so we're not taking up room in the living room in case you want to put a couch or whatever you want. We put a queen size bed right here because we have two windows. As you walk in, you have a nice window here. It's about three feet by four feet, three feet wide by four feet tall, roughly. I don't know the exact measurements, but we put the window there. And then we have two smaller windows here and here. They're about a foot wide and six feet tall. Under this window, we have an AC unit. We have a queen size bed in the room. It's right here, I drew it out in pencil so it'd be a little different. It's queen size. This is not the exact size on this sheet, but it's pretty close. I think it sticks over a hair more towards the window on each side, but I don't know the exact measurements of the bed. So it's roughly this size. Jared has a side table here, so you can walk in. You have a side table and a side table on this side. So it's plenty of room to walk around the bed and you're perfectly fine. Then on this wall, Jared has a TV right here, and he's going to have a little entertainment center TV stand underneath it. So that gives you plenty of room to walk in and come down to the bathroom, walk around, whatever you need to do. It is 12 feet wide this way, and the bedroom itself is 10 feet wide from wall to wall. The bathroom is 6 feet from wall to wall. Right here we have a 4 foot gap in the wall with barn doors covering it. A 2 foot door on each side, they both open outward. That way you can walk in, you come straight to the bathroom. As soon as you come in the bathroom, if you look to your left, and when you walk in, you have a toilet. And then over here, you have a small closet, your vanity and sink, and then shower. This is a full-size stand-up shower. We left enough space between the toilet and the closet so we could put a bifold door right here and it'll open up and have plenty of room. This closet is roughly three feet by three feet. This closet right here is plenty big to put your clothes and shoes and everything in the bottom. It goes all the way to the ceiling, so it's really tall. You could do two decks. You know, we have the shirts hanging on the top and then a little dresser inside of it with shoes and stuff on the bottom. Plenty of space. Then you have your vanity area, 
we put the sink right in the middle. That way you have space on each side of the sink to do what you need to do, put your stuff on there, your toothpaste, your toothbrushes, all your makeup and hair products, whatever you need to do. Then you have a full size shower right here. This shower is bigger than we really need, but we like showering, so we did a full size shower. And again, the whole bathroom is six feet by 12 feet. That's plenty of room to come in, you can change, get in the shower, go to the bathroom, get ready in the morning. For two people, it's not an issue whatsoever. So that's the first bedroom. Let's jump over to the second bedroom, which is on the opposite side of the house. All right, now we're over here in the second bedroom, and this is gonna be, for us, a spare bedroom slash office. We're not gonna, it's only Jared that lives in this entire house, we will only use this when family or friends come over. So we're gonna keep it more of an office. So I didn't set up a bed, I didn't set up furniture in here. I didn't wanna show you that. So you can come up with your own design however you want to for this. The only difference between this room and the other room is we have no windows on this wall. We have a nice large window here. It's about five feet or six feet wide, which is really awesome. Gives you plenty of sunlight and if you need to open the windows, you get plenty of, of airflow in there. The door opens inward so we don't lose any room in the kitchen. Again, no windows on this side. We're gonna put an AC unit somewhere in here. We haven't fully decided where the AC is going but we think it's gonna be in this area. And then again, you have your bathroom down here with your barn doors. This bathroom is gonna be slightly different since it's an office slash second bedroom. So down here you're gonna have a full size shower again a toilet and a very small vanity just big enough for the sink. This will give us a lot more room to leave this side open. That way we leave this side open for a closet and inside the closet we're gonna have a washer and dryer. We might do a combo or we might do the stackable washer and dryer. We're not 100% sure yet but that won't take up more than half of the closet. And again like I talked about plumbing before we have it all in the back. The shower drains right here and then your faucet shoots this way. You have your toilet and your sink, and then washer and dryer will empty out right here, and then the kitchen, your sink's right here. That way, all the plumbing is in the back. We thought that was the smartest, so you wouldn't have the bathroom over here. You gotta run plumbing, you gotta do all the stuff. Everything is right here in the back, on the back of the house, which to us, made sense. So now, let's jump into the kitchen and living room area. All right, now we're into the open concept kitchen and living room. As you know, we have a dormer and that is above the front door. It's about 11 feet wide, so it's right above that. The door swings open towards the kitchen because we didn't know if we'd have a couch here or what we were gonna do. So we opened it in towards the kitchen because we knew we wouldn't have anything there. You can walk all the way through to the door down here, which opens towards the living room because we knew we would have the AC here and the countertop here. We didn't wanna hit the countertop. That's why we did it this way. But as you walk in, we're gonna look at the kitchen side first. The first bedroom is on this side, second bedroom is over here. We already went over that, so just remember, first bedroom on this side, second bedroom on this side. So as you walk in, we have a huge window here. It's about four feet wide and five or six feet tall. Great window, lets in a lot of light. We can see out to the road and it's perfect. We have another window down here. It's very, very wide. It's about six feet wide by three feet tall, and it opens up from the bottom up. It swings up. We did it this way, so if we had parties or anything, and the back patio is out here, we could open the window and hand food out or whatever we need to do. We have a nice cabinet here. It's about seven feet tall, and that holds our trash can underneath and some food up top. Then we have our refrigerator, and then full counter space, and the sink here. It's a pretty big sink. It's pretty awesome but we did it here for the window so we can look out. We do not have an oven. If you watch our videos, we have a microwave here and a toaster oven there, and we have burners that we put on the countertop and then put it underneath the countertop when we're not using. If you had an oven, you could probably put it right here and it wouldn't matter. The island might be pushed out, but you can have the oven here or oven over here, whatever you wanna do. This is just our layout with a simple kitchen. So we have a cabinet, refrigerator, all of this is open counter space, the sink, open counter space. Underneath here, we have a bunch of cabinets, and then we have an island. The island has cabinets right here, and you can fill up the whole bottom with whatever you need. 
We did it where you have enough space to walk all the way around, and we've never had an issue. You can open up cabinet doors, it doesn't hit. You can open up the refrigerator, it doesn't hit. So we love this idea. It gives us more counter space. We have stools here that we could sit at, and then when we cook, we normally use this area. We do most of our chopping here, and then we cook over here. We love this open concept because there's no walls. It makes this room look huge, and when you're cooking and hanging out in the kitchen, you could still watch TV. You could talk to everyone here. It's a great area if you're going to have get-togethers and whatnot. Now let's talk about the living room area. You walk in the front door, and we have a couch set up here, a couch set up here, and our coffee table. You can move this. We used to have the couch up here. We had another couch here. You know, we thought about putting some stuff here. You can rearrange the furniture any way you like. This is just how we have it set up at the moment. But you walk in. We have a nice large window here. It's roughly six feet wide by three feet tall. And then the same thing over here. We have a large window. This window doesn't open though. This one opens. This one doesn't. But they're the same size. We have our AC unit here. Which, again, we did it there, so when we open the door, you're not hitting anything. Instead of hitting the counter, it would rather be able to swing all the way open. So we have our AC unit here, and that way it's between the couches. It's not getting blocked. Air flows through, and it works perfectly well right here. Right here, on this wall, which is the bed, remember, bedroom number one is over here. We have our fireplace and TV. As you see in our videos, the fireplace is down low, then we have a mantle, and then TV up top. This works great. It sticks out a foot and comes over roughly seven or eight feet and then cuts back. It, it sticks out a foot, comes down about eight feet, seven, eight feet, and then it cuts back a foot. It's We built it that way so you can hide all the wires inside this cavity right here. The fireplace fits inside. The wire from the TV fit inside. We have plugs in here for the fireplace and TV. You can't see any wires from the outside is why we did it this way. Plus, it looks more like a real fireplace with it sticking out from the wall. So, our living room and kitchen area is 16 feet by 26 feet all the way across. From wall to wall is 26 feet, and from wall to wall is 16 feet. This is way bigger than we thought. When we first started, we would tape everything off on the floor, and we couldn't even imagine it being large enough. And now that it's built out... This whole area is big enough for us to live in by itself. So don't think that your building is too small. It's going to feel a lot bigger once it's completed. So that's going to conclude the whole living room and kitchen area. I'm going to go back to the overhead view so you can look at it one more time. All right, just to recap, our building is 16 feet by 50 feet. Each bedroom is 10 feet by 12 feet. The bathroom is 6 feet by 12 feet. 10 feet by 12 feet, 6 foot by 12 foot. Then you have the open kitchen and living room. It's 26 feet by 16 feet. We have our fireplace here, kitchens over here, island, couch, couch, coffee table. You walk in, you can go to each bedroom. It's very easy. We made it where you walk. We have no furniture or anything in the way. You can walk from door to door. You know, easily walk through. It's not a problem. The one AC unit keeps this whole area nice and cool. We have a heater in the fireplace and we also have a space heater and that heats this area up nicely. The bedroom has an AC unit and a space heater which all of this heats up very very well. Same thing in the other bedroom. One thing I wanted to point out with all of this is these are not exact measurements. Please don't think it's exactly 10 feet, exactly 6 feet, exactly 12. Our building is 16 by 50 and we're 99% sure that that is the measurements from the outside of the building. So you got to take into consideration the studs for the walls, how thick the wall is. You know, you have another wall here, another wall here. So it's not really 10 feet. You got to think in your building, because every building is different, take into consideration the, how thick each wall is going to be and then go from there. We thought this through over and over and over, and this was the best concept we could get for our needs. So customize your building to your needs. If you want to copy us, that's fine, but just know this is what we wanted, so we did it to customize for our lifestyle. I really hope that this video has helped you guys out. If you have a 16 by 50 and you want to copy ours, go for it.
We think it's a great layout. We don't regret anything about it. It was very easy to do the plumbing on the back. We've never felt crowded. This open concept in the living room and kitchen has been absolutely amazing. We've had people over where we're cooking in the kitchen. We're, hang we're hanging out in the living room. You can watch TV, you know, football games going on. While you're cooking, you can still see the TV. It has just been absolutely amazing. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please ask. Just remember, those are not the exact measurements. We're not gonna tell you where the breaker box goes, where all the electricity outlets are at, everything like that. We want that to be customized for your needs. This is just what we did to show you for the layout. So please let us know what you guys think about our layout. Leave some comments below. Let us know what you would change with it so maybe people that are coming to look at it can read through the comments and see how you guys would customize it to your life and they can get some more ideas. As always, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. We have a ton of photos. We have a ton of videos here on YouTube. Go check them out. It shows the entire building, pros and cons. It shows the, the layout. Everything that you saw in this video is in our other videos. I will link those in the description. So make sure to check those out. You get a full tour of the entire house. So get out there, start living your dream. Don't let anyone stop you. If you're in an area that you can't get approved for this, move somewhere else. Don't let anything stop you. We hope you guys have a great day. And now we're gonna go do some more building. We'll keep you updated on that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.